Hey, what's up there, everybody? We're out here on location. Uh, welcome to Fast Shutter Speed Photo Lab. Uh, we're back at it again. We're gonna mess around with some water balloons, um, also some splashing water, trying to capture uh, kind of those water droplets or the balloon itself uh, actually breaking, but the water holding in shape. It looks really cool if you can catch it right. So let's take a look and see what we have to do to make that happen. All right, follow me. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that our camera settings are in the correct place. Now, this camera is a little bit older version than the one that we have here in the classroom, but settings are gonna be pretty similar. Um, you're gonna want a shutter speed, uh, a fast shutter speed. I, I'm gonna recommend somewhere in the range of like one over 200 to one over 250, uh, maybe all the way up to a one over 1,000 uh, if you have the right lighting for it. And that's, and that's really what it's gonna be based on. Uh, so you're going to want to, you see that exposure gauge there below the shutter speed? Uh, it's currently showing at zero. Uh, it's because it's a bright sunny day out here. So if it's not quite sunny when you're doing this, you may have to adjust. Uh, remember to open up your uh, aperture wide if you need more light, or you can close it down if you need less. Um, but remember, because we're doing a fast shutter speed, we need to compensate for that light, okay? So this is gonna work out just fine here in the light. You can see I'm rating at a zero for the most part. Um, it goes up a little bit, so I, what I can do is I can use my settings here if to close my aperture a little bit more and I'm back to zero. So remember to do that. You also wanna be in manual mode because you're gonna set your own manual uh, um, focus on this. And again, that's that gauge there at the top of the camera. You can use that to set your focus, okay? Because if we do autofocus, it's just not going to work. The, ca the camera is not gonna be able to focus fast enough uh, for you to actually get the shot that you want, okay? So again, manual focus, fast shutter speed. You want the aperture uh, open and you want your exposure. That's gonna be the most important thing. You want exposure at zero or as close to zero as you possibly can. Okay, so now that we have our settings right, we're all ready to take our photo. Now, over here, I have my lovely assistant. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> and we're holding a water balloon here. Those of you in the classroom, we're gonna have water balloons available to you. Uh, those of you who are distance learning, if you'd like to also do water balloons, you can go and pick up your own. Uh, you should be able to find them at pretty much any dollar store or anything. Um, but uh, you can also do the same thing by splashing something in water and catching the water dripple, droplets that pop up. And I'll be showing you that here in a little bit. But first off, let's do the water balloon test. Again, this is gonna take a few times for you to actually pull this off, okay? Again, practice. You're just gonna have to practice getting the timing quite right for it. I don't recommend being in continuous shot because you're still, you're gonna miss your shot, okay? It's just, you're gonna miss it. You just have to time it right. Do remember, just count down one, two, three, and take a photo. All right, so let's go ahead and give it a shot. Okay, so here we go. I've got my focus all set with my camera. I have the water balloon being held there. We're gonna do a count of three, and then she's gonna pop the balloon at the same time that she's popping. I'm gonna hit the shutter button on my camera, and hopefully we'll catch it. All right, let's give it a shot. One, two, three. All right, let's check our timing here. And it looks like I may have just barely missed it. So we're gonna give it another shot. And uh, like I said, this is gonna be a practice thing. You're just gonna have to keep on going with it. Um, but uh, we'll give it another shot here in just a second. All right, so after about four or five times, we got the water balloon just about right. Um, we're on to our next uh, option here that for those distance learners that don't necessarily have a water balloon available to them. Um, basically, here's what we're gonna need. You just need a bowl with some water and then just a rock or a fruit or something to drop into it. See the rock? There it is. Um, so this guy right here. So basically what you're gonna try and do is you're gonna set a fast shutter speed. You're gonna drop the rock in and try and capture the water spraying out, okay? This is very uh, similar to the Papa Flash milk drop photo that we talked about earlier in the year. There we go. But that's what we're after. We're gonna try and capture that moment where the item hits the water, OK? 
okay? And you get that splash up. Now, again, this is probably gonna take you a few times to try and to master. Um, even if you get it right, it may not be perfect. Um, but what you can do, you can clean up a lot of uh, mistakes that possibly come up in Photoshop. And we'll talk about how to do that in class as well. So this is what you're after. You're after either catch, capturing a water balloon popping or trying to capture the moment that an item hits water like that, okay? And these are great tests um, to show how you understand shutter speed and how fast shutter speed works. Now, unlike slow shutter speed, it takes a lot of practice to get your shot just right because things are moving super quick and sometimes your timing may not be right pulling the shutter uh, button uh, along with the action. So please continue to try. If it doesn't come out right the first time, then congratulations, you're just like everybody else. It's gonna take some time for you to, for it to get uh, where you want it. So good luck. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Um, it should be a fun time. All right, enjoy guys.